Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about how I learned how to code and eventually ended up here in Silicon Valley. So please stay tuned. how to code. If you've watched my other videos, you might know that I studied chemical engineering in university. I didn't study computer science or software engineering, and I did have programming classes as part of my chemical engineering curriculum. However, ironically, I absolutely hated them. They were in MATLAB, and I thought coding was awful, and it wasn't for me. But then, two years into university, I had a lot of friends in computer science that really encouraged me to take a closer look at programming and encouraged me to start with Codecademy. Codecademy was such a great decision to start with. I started with a web development course and it was just HTML, CSS, and the instant gratification that you get from seeing something on the screen after you have learned a rule, did something that Code Academy tells you is honestly so important. Because if you don't have that and you don't understand programming principles, just getting into it is really hard. It's just so different. The mindset's completely different. But once you code something and you see, ta -da, there is a website, there is a table, there is something else that you know you built, it kind of makes you just continue and keep going and keep getting excited about what you're doing. So that's what happened to me. I did the web development course on Code Academy, and I really, really enjoyed it. And after that, I was like, huh, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. Let me try continuing trying to learn how to code. And by the way, for those of you who are wondering, we are currently in my apartment in San Francisco, and maybe in some future video, I'll do an apartment tour. So after Code Academy, I decided to move to Coursera. And you guys, Coursera, is an amazing platform and an amazing resource to learn how to code. There is so many introductory, intermediate, advanced courses, and all of them are by top universities, amazing professors. I absolutely love it and I learned so much on Coursera. So I took some introduction to programming in Python course and that's kind of what was my next step after doing Code Academy web development. I did that and again, I persisted through it. It was already different than just doing simple HTML, CSS. I was actually learning coding fundamentals and I did it and I enjoyed it. And then by the virtue of circumstance, I was in Germany for a year doing exchange. So I decided to take extra courses in German university that actually were for computer science students. So I started with an introduction to programming for engineers in C. And honestly, I'm really, really happy I took on C because C makes you go really low level and really understand the memory allocation, pointers. It's way more complicated and less abstracted than higher level languages like Java, Ruby, Python, etc. So taking C really made me think hard and try to understand this different world of what computers are and how the lower level stuff works. So that was kind of my next step. And then again, while I was in Germany, I hustled so hard to get to know people in the startup environment there that by the virtue of circumstance, I got a job a part-time job as a developer with no experience. While I was working part-time as a developer, I had an amazing opportunity to learn things because I had to deliver a project. I was working on a Django app. And then besides that, I started working on a side project, an Android app with a friend, and that made me learn so much. To be honest, the biggest tip I can give you is go ahead and try building something. It will make you learn so much because you actually have to deliver a vision of yours and you will be motivated to code and to learn. So after building the Android app and learning a ton about mobile development, I started preparing for interviews and doing cracking the coding interview, uh, lead code, etc. And my goal was to get an internship in Silicon Valley. And luckily I got an internship at Yelp and that was my first breakthrough real Silicon Valley software engineering experience. I worked on the Android team and it was amazing. And then 
after that, I started doing more internships and one of the internships that I've done was at Airbnb, after which I decided to come to Silicon Valley and move here full time after finishing my education. And here I am now working at Airbnb as a software engineer. So that's how I learned how to code. And you can too. Please let me know if this was helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like and subscribe. Don't forget to push the notification buttons on. I'm gonna be posting more content. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye for now, have an amazing day.